application creation to create the application we have to click on navigate administer consolidation administration then double click on applications click on actions new new application here you can see copy from an application application from profile file copy from an application means you can copy the application already existing application and create a new application application from profile file means if you are having older version of hfm there you can right click and you can extract the profile and with the same profile you can create the application so a new application click on next name naming convention so it should not start with number it should not have spaces or special characters it should not exceed 10 characters and it should not begin with hfm hsx hsv and xfm these are the keywords reserved words so you can create any name so i am creating b one yes this is a valid application description tata group of companies application type consolidation cluster Cluster is a load balancing manager means you can register one cluster with more than one server in live we will be having more than one cluster it is always used as a load balancing manager so from the drop down box we have to select the cluster and the user management project it is the shared services project and then you can select a default application group or hfm group and language is always english hfm hyperion supports almost 18 languages but here we have to put only english so start here as per the client requirement for example if client wants five years of data we will put 2017 if client wants three years of past data so we will put 2018 number of years maximum is 100 and ideal is 10 time periods months quarters and custom so when you put months it includes half yearly reporting and quarterly reporting so for indian companies we put half yearly reporting also so it will create hytd member in view dimension and start month is always january for us and uk companies and for indian companies it is april to march and for australian companies it is june to july as per the client requirement we will put our start month so what is time stars so if you put half yearly and quarterly when you click on next you can see ytd hytd qtd and mtd so when you put only qtd means quarters you can see ytd qtd mtd so if you remove this and if you put trimesters it is for african countries trimesters means one quarter is equal to four months you can see click next you can see ytd ttd mtd and when you click next you can see T1 is equal to January, February, March, April. There will be total three quarters and 12 months. So for African countries, we use trimesters. So I put quarterly. So if you put custom here, you can put weekly reporting. So or daily reporting. So label is week and I have total 52 weeks click next you can see ytd t week to date and you can see 52 weeks so normally we don't use weekly reporting or daily reporting and quarters means yes you can see quarters means click next you see ytd hytd qtd and here you see hyt uh, half year and q1 q2 half year 2 q3 q4 means you are loading the data in quarters 
normally in live we don't use this q1 or custom etc so we always use monthly reporting along with quarters click next click next see q1 january february march then click next so application currency as per the client requirement this is nothing but the target currency or ultimate parent currency next rate for balance accounts means all balance sheet items will be translated at end of the month rate all flow accounts means income statement accounts will be translated at average rate translate method for balance accounts translate method for flow accounts there are two types of valuation methods val method and pva method we discuss this in metadata chapter all this enable process control uh, submission phase ownership journals etc everything we enable click next so here we give custom dimensions so custom c1 c2 c3 c4 yes based on the client requirement we always create custom dimensions right so by default custom 1 and custom 2 are large dimensions it means because they are specifically designed for currency translation below you can see from currency is custom 1 and two currency is custom 2 means all source currencies we put in custom 1 and all and target currency we put in custom 2 so by default custom 1 and custom 2 are specifically designed for currency translations custom 3 I can put medium custom for I can put small so what happens when I put medium or small so let me open the notes see custom dimension size so if your number of members are 128 members then you can put small if it is more than 128 and uh, more than 32,000 then it should be large or you can put 32,000 what happens if you use small instead of medium medium instead of large etc so here while retrieving the data from database it uses four bytes of memory for large dimension and two bytes of memory for, for medium dimension and one byte of memory for small dimension so for example if you take data type it is nothing but data source from where i am getting the data I'll get the data from SAP, Oracle Financials, PeopleSoft, Siebel, CRM, JD Edwards, Tally, Wings, Journal Entries, Manual Entry. So it will never cross 128. So I can always put my data type as small. If you take product for a big company like Unilever, number of products will 100% it will cross 32,000. So we always keep it as large. So based on the client requirement, we always keep our custom dimensions as large or medium or small that's it so click use security yes we'll discuss in metadata chapter whatever the dimension you want a security right you can take that normally in live we always put security for entity and scenario dimension so leave default and click on create application application will be created done yes so this is called application creation so can i delete the application yes by default whoever creates the application they can delete the whoever creates the application they can delete the application so right click and delete it will be deleted so to delete the application we need a specific right that is application administrator right so click on navigate administer shared services console when you expand native directory right right click provision so you can see
this is the right application administrator right if you have this application administrator right you can delete the application so to delete the application right click on the application and click on delete yes so application will be deleted Yes, application is deleted why do we register the application so register the application in live we use it for two purposes one is whenever you create a new cluster the existing application should be registered with the new cluster or you can change the shared services project for example click on register you can see in the shared services when you expand the application groups When you expand the default application group, you can see this Baba126 application is in default application group. I want to change the group to HFM group. Yes. Right click. Click on register application. Select the cluster. Instead of default application group, I select HFM group. Click register. Now go to shared services and refresh and see expand HFM group you can you can see the application is changed from default application group to HFM group. This is called application registration.